We are following the news, following an appeals court that has just suspended former New York City mayor and former Trump attorney Rudy Giuliani from practicing law in New York State. The court ruled there was indisputable evidence that Giuliani made false and misleading statements about the president's efforts to overturn the 2020 election. So joining us now to help us understand everything that's happening is NBC News legal analyst Danny Savalos. Danny, first off, I mean, how big of a deal is this license suspension? I mean, what does it mean in practical terms? Huge deal. I mean, for an attorney like me, a suspension is one stop short of disbarment, and it is a major big deal. It's uh, devastating to someone's career and their reputation. And this is an interesting uh, uh, case because Rudy Giuliani claimed that he had a First Amendment free speech protection to say things. And the court said, no, you don't. First, lawyers are subject to heightened regulation of their speech because of their status in society. And secondly, the court concluded that he knowingly made these false and misleading statements. For example, you know, alleging fraud in a court hearing and then in that same uh, court hearing, alleging that he wasn't alleging fraud and actually flip flopping in the middle of the same court hearing. So that and a number of other uh, alleged misstatements or false statements uh, led the court to conclude that he should be suspended from the practice of law. But given that conclusion, Danny, I mean, can Giuliani appeal or is this the final decision? He can, and it's only a suspension. So it, arguably he will be back someday. Uh, but what's interesting is that this was viewed as an immediate suspension, the kind that has to be done quickly to avoid future immediate harm. In other words, the court essentially said that he poses an immediate threat and should be suspended immediately. And Giuliani, Danny, of course, has a very public profile. I mean, not only as a former New York City mayor, but of course, as a former Justice Department official. So do you suspect that his high profile position, especially now emerging within the Republican Party, played into this decision? Uh, the court's decision, I believe the court looked at the facts. They had plenty of different instances of facts that they discussed in excruciating detail uh, and pointed out that even though, you know, you don't have a situation when you talk about knowingly false statements, rare is the case that somebody says, hey, over here, I knew those were false when I said them. Instead, uh, the court uh, found that those were proven by circumstantial evidence. In other words, uh, when Rudy said that he relied on things that were told to him by other people, the mm. court said, well, where are the affidavits? Right. Where are these other people? Where's the guy who supposedly told you this false information? Have him sign an affidavit and have him say, whoops, my fault. I gave Rudy that bad information. Wow. None of that evidence was put in and the court noted it. Hey, NBC News viewers, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.